Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear in the commercial kitchen and today we are going to do a video on the commercial brew head tune-up kits for Rocket. A lot of this is similar to other manufacturers but this is going to be specific to Rocket and how to change um, just the gaskets in the group head as a part of your routine maintenance probably every six months to a year depending on how much use your machine is getting but you should do it at least every year. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier in the long run. It'll keep your machine happier uh, and it'll uh, save you money in downtime in the long run as well. So let's start out by talking about the tools that you need. So the first tool we'll talk about um, is kind of dependent on your machine. Some rockets have a flathead screw for that's holding the, the shower screen and the dis dispersion block plate in. Um, and so for a flathead one, you just need either this caffeine tool from Palo that we sell um, or just a stubby flathead screwdriver works as well. Um, I didn't have one of those, but I had one of these. So conveniently has that on it. Um, alternately, some machines will have a three millimeter um, Allen in there. So um, this is just a, a little wrench that we have to work with that. So it's a three, three millimeter Allen. Um, so it could be a flathead or a three millimeter Allen. Uh, if you look up at your machine, like we'll do later on, you'll be able to tell pretty quick if it's a flathead or an Allen. So the next tool that we recommend having um, before you get to anything else, actually I'll start with this one, um, is just like a, an awl or like a small screwdriver. Um, an awl like this is a little bit easier to use because um, it's harder to hurt yourself with it uh, because it is pretty sturdy and it has a nice large um, tip on there. This is gonna be for getting the gasket out of the machine and I'll show you how to do that. Lastly, you're gonna need, or almost lastly, a brush to clean the machine. You should have one of these. One typically comes with your machine, or you might have one of these nice long um, Palo brushes that has a scoop on the end um, and this little pokey device as well, useful for kind of prying things out. Another tool there. Um, I recommend getting one of those and one of the caffeine tools, pretty helpful. Um, you also need a towel just to clean out some of the gasket. And then I also have my tune-up kit here uh, for this machine. So the tune-up kit on our website for Rocket is going to have your gasket. This is an eight millimeter gasket for this machine. If you have questions about what size you should get, feel free to reach out to us and we can consult on that. It depends on how old your machine is, um, the model it is and a couple other things, but we can generally figure it out. Um, if it's your first time changing the gasket, you'll probably have a question on that. Um, if you have the gasket out of the machine or you take it out of the machine, um, they will say the size on the gasket. I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is an eight millimeter gasket and it says little eight on the flat side, there, on the back side of it there. You'll also in this kit get a dispersion screen or a shower screen that goes in the machine. You wanna replace that just because over time, um, coffee oils can clog that at times or they can kind of etch away at it so it doesn't operate as well as it should. This also protects coffee, larger pieces of coffee from being sucked up into the machine and clogging valves and such. Um, so good to replace that. And then also the O-ring that goes on the back of like the diffuser plate block, whatever you want to call it, that's in there. Um, and then you also get a fresh screw to go in there as well. So the screw is important to replace when you're doing this because if you are back flushing like you should, you're going to be taking the screw out every night. So over time, it can get stripped, can be, get blocked up with coffee, it can just get harder to change. So we include a screw with each one of these kits. Um, that's why it's important to change all of these. Um, heat will touch every part of these and cause them to degrade over time. So we'll talk about that a little bit while we get into this. So now that we've talked about all that, I did wanna mention this as well. This is a silicone gasket as opposed to those rubber gaskets. These last a little bit longer in our experience. Um, yeah, just are a little bit easier to work with. So that's an option as well. We have those on our website separate from the tune-up kits. So we'll take our porta filter out. I just recently back flushed this one, but um, I'm gonna look up underneath 
and see that this is a flat head. So I'm going to take my Palo tool and unscrew that just a little bit. Um, and once it's kind of spinning freely, what you can do is take your towel and use it to kind of spin that whole diffuser screen or shower screen and diffuser plate or brass piece. Um, and once you get it, it should, this one's taking a little bit longer. I'm gonna need this. Once you get it, it should just drop right out. Sometimes on the rockets, the uh, plate is a little bit heavier, so it doesn't spin as freely as it does on like a, a La Marzocco or another one of those machines where the uh, machine doesn't have one of these big, um, this is really hot, doesn't have one of these big brass kind of diffuser plates like the rockets do. So just a little bit of a different design. So once you have that stuff out, I'll set it over here for now. Um, you're gonna wanna take a towel, um, just kind of wipe around in here and get anything out of there. You're gonna need to do this again. And then take your awl and kind of look up in here and you're gonna actually stab the gasket and then you're going to, once you get it nice and in there, you might have to put some force into it. There we go. Just use the leverage here. And after you do that a couple times, it'll pop right out. But that's how the gasket will come out. Um, if you're doing this every six months, like you should be, it should still look like this and it should still have some give to it. And um, it doesn't matter that you just stabbed it and kind of cracked it uh, because you're gonna be getting rid of this and replacing it anyways. So don't worry about stabbing it and damaging this because you're getting rid of it. If it's been more than a year, two years, three years, and you haven't replaced this gasket, this might come out in pieces. It might leave some behind. Don't worry about that. Um, change your gaskets more frequently. Do your tune-ups more frequently if that's the case. Um, but if that is the case, just make sure you scrape everything out, out of there. Um, and let's show you this. So if you look at this used gasket, compared to this fresh one, you'll notice that the used one has kind of that indentation in it. That's from the portafilter twisting and grinding into that over time. And then here's the fresh one there. So over time, as that groove gets more worn in, the portafilter is gonna have a harder time sealing as you turn it across. It'll start to leak um, and that'll affect your espresso. It'll make a mess. Um, and also as it kind of gets, effect, gets uh, um, contacted by the heat for a long period of time, it's gonna bake eventually and get hard and then crumble like rubber tends to do. So it's important to replace these gaskets to keep your machine happy and the, the espresso tasting good. So if you notice that your portafilter is all the way over here, when you're locking it into the machine, your gasket's either old or it's too small. So you can get a new gasket and it'll or a, a larger gasket and it'll go right to that 12 o'clock position and help you out a little bit there. So once you have that out, um, take your towel again and you wanna go up in here and take kind of the corner of the towel like that, protect your hand um, and just get everything out of there. Sometimes coffee can get kind of built up behind it, behind the gasket, because we want it to be as clean as possible when we put it in. And you can always kind of bend down like this and look up in there and make sure you got everything. If your gasket came out in pieces, there's a good chance that some of it's still stuck up in there. So just crouch down, look up, see if you can spot any pieces before you put the new one in. This is all clean, so I'm going to go ahead and put that new gasket in. Got my fresh one here. All the gaskets should have some writing on the bottom of them. The writing side always goes into the machine. So if you look here, um, this one has that eight and then it has just some letters on it there on the other side. So the writing side goes up into the machine. You can see it's also kind of rounded whereas the other side is more of a sharp edge there. So little tip. Um, and then to get it into the machine, 
Um, you should be able to just press it into place pretty easily, um, but this is the next part that gets a little bit tricky. So we found that if you engage just one ear of the portafilter and then kind of rock it around, it can help it to be a little bit easier to get it in there. That one went in super easy, so we were lucky. But if you just, like if you do this, that's both ears, but if you just do one at a time and kind of spin that in, then it can uh, help seat that more easily. After that's changed, we come over here. Um, I was waiting on this just because this tends to get pretty hot and it is um, brass, so it, it takes a while to cool down. So it's gonna be helpful again to have your awl. So just pull that apart like so. Um, comes out pretty easily. But then again, take your towel and get in here and clean out that edge piece just around there because it's going to get pretty dirty over time. Um, and this is just wearing naturally like this tends to do. Um, you can replace these uh, if you're concerned, um, but it is natural to see a little bit of discoloration on it. Um, might be a little bit of scale buildup or just natural discoloration because it is a natural metal. So once you have that cleaned out, next thing is to take your new O-ring for that. Um, and just press it into place. It should go in there pretty easily. That one just really slotted in there. This will keep it nice and tight to the machine um, because if you notice, this has holes in it. Um, so it needs to have a seal around the outside edge so the water doesn't gush around it so your extraction is controlled. So um, you also have your fresh screen and screw and this sits on the face of it just like that new screw grows in it, flip it over, and it goes right back in the machine. So let's see if I still got it. I used to be able to do this without looking, but it has been a minute since I've done this repetitively. So you might have to do like I'm doing. All right, I got it. How embarrassing. Commercial video guy can't get a screen in. And then just tighten it like you would normally. It doesn't need to be super tight. Um, just kind of finger tight so it's not shifting around. And then your portafilter goes back in place right there facing you, not too far over, not over here, just right in the middle. That means we have the right size gasket in there. And that's how you do a tune-up on a rocket. So if you have any questions about that, you can drop a comment down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, you can always bookmark this um, to come back to it if you need a reference for changing a gasket on your machine. Like I said, you should do this every six to 12 months depending on the use. If you pull out your gasket and it fell apart, you waited too long. So make sure to do it more frequently. And if you have a question about the size of gasket that you need for your specific machine, um, you can just send us a message and we can help with that. Or you can call us and we can help with that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day.